Philemon 15 through 17 says, For perhaps he was for this reason separated from you for a while, that you would have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me. But how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord? If then you regard me a partner, accept him as you would me. Today's reading is Philemon, and I encourage you to read that passage. Now, the letter of Philemon, pronounced Philemon in Greek, is a book that people use to describe the change in people's hearts when they come to Christ. Onesimus was a slave who escaped from his master Philemon. He ended up in Rome with Paul and became a believer, and he became a real source of joy to Paul while he was in prison. But Paul felt that he, Paul, could not allow Onesimus to be at his side without first talking to Philemon. Later in the book, verse 18, he makes a statement that says if Onesimus owes him anything, put it on Paul's bill. And basically what he's saying is that Onesimus should not have anything hanging over his head because while he was a slave, he escaped. Now that he is a believer, he's returning on his own volition. Paul wants to ensure that Philemon understands the difference in Onesimus' life. When we trust Christ as our Savior, our debt is completely paid. We have a direct pathway to God at that point. Now, I'm not going to get into a great theological debate as to how our debt is paid or to whom our debt is paid. All we need to know is that the debt has been paid and we are no longer debtors, but rather sons. Now, I don't want to leave the impression that once somebody becomes a believer, he or she can do anything they want because they have a ticket to heaven. This is also a completely bogus theology. If that person died immediately after accepting Christ, he or she would go to heaven. But if God lives on the earth after their confession of faith, then he has a plan for them, Ephesians 2.10. Our job here on earth is to humble ourselves and to repent so that we can present Christ to a dying world. Anything that gets in the way of that presentation is not of God. I do believe that you need sound doctrine. I don't believe that all Christians have to get a Ph.D. It is God who is witnessing and doing the work. All we need to do is simply submit and repent.